Very cool. So uh, tell us a little bit about Blackhawk. How are you associated with Blackhawk, the band? Well, when I was in the Outlaws, uh, Henry and I decided we were going to land and put our own band together. He and Huey couldn't get along too well. And uh, Henry was more the business the guy. Band. And uh, I felt like yeah, this was, that would have been a good opportunity for me to start a band with him. And it turned into Black Hawk. And I, I wasn't really ready to play music yet. And so I told him to go on, go on with that. And I was going to do something else. And a couple years later, country music turned into Southern rock. Mm, and all true. of a sudden, all of a sudden I fit in <laughs> to country music. <laughs> so, uh, you know, uh, was after Black Vance Hawk Stevenson was passed away, Henry called me up and said, why don't you come back and, you know, help me finish this thing we tried to start years ago. Henry Paul, Van Stevenson, and Dave Robbins were the three guys in the band, you know, the, the main singers in the band. Gotcha. And uh, I remember when Henry would come up here to Nashville and write songs with, with these guys and come back to Tampa uh, and he played them for me. And I said, this is just really good stuff. You know, it's going to be, you're going to be successful with it. But I wasn't ready to play country music at the time. I just, at, at that time, country music was, you know, Different, and all of a sudden, you know, a couple years later, it turned southern. It turned to southern rock, and then I fit in. So, <laughs> yeah, now you played like, with Leonard Skinner, Bad Company, uh, Stephen Stills. Uh, who's your favorite band to write with? Oh boy. Well, I played with all those guys. I mean, we played, we do shows together, and uh, you know, Stephen Stills and you bets. You know, we uh. We did some shows down in Florida together, and uh, as far as writing, I mean, I, I just enjoy doing that with, with just about anybody, but Dickie and I wrote quite a bit together, and, uh, you know, a lot of stuff didn't make it to records, and but but some of it did, and uh, it, just the, the whole process of, of writing was just a lot of fun for me especially writing with people that that were your peers and people that you were influenced by nice very cool go ahead mr plowman yeah so tell us about the recording process man in the studio how's it come about how's the song come about get developed with you you know well it's usually you sit around a couple guys with acoustic guitar unless you write it yourself you sit around and you, uh, and you know get an idea for a song and you show show whoever you're writing with you know and you kind of develop it together and come up with a lyric a song hook and uh you know when you get into the studio that's it usually takes a whole new shape you know when you get a band behind it yeah. you know other people put in their two cents and their ideas and uh you know it's it's a process but it's a you know it's fun it's like uh you're creating something out of thin air and that's it you know and you can't stand back and look at it, but you can sit back and listen to it. <laughs> 